Well, good morning, ladies and gents. And today I'm in Fawcett St. Peter, quiet village outside a property called the Worcesters. Now, this is sort of the rear. It could be the front. It's the, what's mainly used as the front entrance. And uh, we're going to have a good look around the outside, first of all, and then we'll pop in. So, enclosed rear garden. The building you see in the back and the fenced area is the yard where there's a workshop and I'll show you that in just a few moments. And what we can do is nip round to the front. The storage area at the side. And you've got this lovely patio part. I will turn the other way in a moment so you can see it properly because the sun's right in the lens. But you've got a very private garden area at the front as well, or the rear, depending on which way you look at it. But it's a good spacious house. It's a good spot as well. It's a fairly quiet area. Very little traffic. And actually very convenient for the likes of Norwich. Because you've got easy access um, cross country really is probably the easiest way to get to Norwich from here and it's around about 10-12 miles away. You've also got easy access into Wyndham and of course from Wyndham there's the train station connecting Norwich to Cambridge and then into London King's Cross or you can go down to this where you've got the Liverpool Street line straight into London. So around the back again You've got plenty of parking here as well. And while we're outside, I'm going to show you the salon. So look at all that parking area. It's own private driveway. Leads up through there. You can see at the bottom. Down there with the gates. You can close the gates. Zoom in a bit. And you can make it all very private. And then... On the end of the house, we've got the salon. Salon, very smart indeed. There it is, there's a cloakroom at the far end as well. So all geared up for you. Right, I'll show you quickly around the yard because there's a lot of potential there. And then we'll pop around the front and go inside. Okay, so this is the yard area. You can see it's got gates either side, so it's fully enclosable. You've got a workshop at the back here, and this has got so much potential. You've got a first floor in there as well. Could be used for all sorts of things, home office, potential for a granny annex. So if you just look through what is here, because all this will be going, and I'm going to take down the side of this other building because the grands are bigger than um, you first think. Because you've got this chunk of garden here, or ground I should say, not so much garden at the moment, a bit overgrown that wraps behind the other properties. So a lot of space. And what we'll now do, I'll take you around the front and we'll go inside. So here we are, back round at the front, going into the hallway. And this house has actually got a lovely feel about it. It's spacious, it's bright, it's stylish. As you see, double doors here. Out into the sitting room. And straight away you get the sense of space that the Worcesters has got to offer. Two double doors lead out onto the front garden. And this wonderful open plan feel to it. The sitting room wrapping around into this dining area. Going back through where we meet the dogs. Out into the rear where you've got the conservatory. And then the kitchen, which is huge, really well appointed. Very, very stylish. 
So not only have you got the dining area there, but you've got this breakfast bar area set into the centre. So much storage space as well. And I say it's a lovely bright house. And then out to the rear, lobby takes you out into the rear garden. So we can cut through this part, takes us back into the hall. We'll finish off the ground floor. You've sort of got an inner hall area here. Understairs cupboard directly ahead. And then this room, which is sort of the family room, the TV room, very funky table in the center there and plenty of storage space again. So even though this one is actually painted quite a dark color, it's still a lovely bright room. So ground floor bedroom is next. Uses this sort of occasional room, a guest bedroom this one. And beside, it's almost really got its own, own bathroom. Depends on how, of course, you want to use these various rooms. So bath, basin, WC, and then in there, decent sized shower. And then you've got the cupboard out the side. Final room on the ground floor, other than the salon, which we'll come to when I show you around the outside. This one has on the cat at the moment, but could be ground floor office, uh, bedroom, really whatever you need it to be. So that's the ground floor space. And so there is the last bit, which is the salon, which we'll come back to. I'll show you upstairs. Good oak staircase. Brings you up to pretty spacious landing. And here we've got the main bedroom. And you sort of catch a glimpse of the bedroom area as you walk through past en suite. Good size shower in there as well. And you've got your wardrobes and drawers area here. And then this bedroom has a little more of a cottage feel built into the roof space. But it's pretty generous, must be said. Helped by the bay area here. And then combined with that, I'll show you this bit. One superb walk-in wardrobe. There's the bedroom from the other angle. So we go on to the back bedroom. Super sized bed, there's still a huge amount of space. And from the back, we'll give views into the rear garden. And we've got further bedroom, similar in size. Again, that's a big double bed, so it gives you a scale to the room. And you've got the wardrobe built in as well. So, certainly not short of storage space. And up here, we've got a further en suite. So big shower enclosure, loo, and the basin there as well. As well as the pets, cage that is. Okay, 
So that's the inside. If you want to view, the uh, tab is coming up shortly, gives you all the information, and we'll look forward to arranging everything for you.